This is News 12 at 6 o'clock. Heartbreak in the Aiken horse community. Annie Goodwin, known for her accomplishments on her horse. Those who knew her say riding horses was in her blood. Annie was doing just that yesterday at the Stable View Equestrian Facility in Aiken. That's when they say her horse missed a jump. The horse threw her off and then fell on top of her, and Annie later died. Stable View is closed now for the next two weeks, but since the accident, messages of support for Annie's family have been pouring in on social media. Sloan O'Cone is live for us at Stable View, so it's hard to imagine how everyone's processing something like this, Sloan. Understandably, everybody is very upset, they say. Friends say that they are going to miss her smile and infection, infection positive personality the most. Annie grew up riding and caring for horses, naturally talented and an accomplished rider. On her way to the top, her skills and passion did not go unnoticed. Olympic equestrian Will Coleman wrote on Facebook that she will continue to inspire the people she knew personally and professionally. Annie worked closely with Daniel Geithner, who says she was more than just a friend. Really a part of our um personal family, our barn family, and all the extended uh, horse community in Aiken. We're, we're a real close-knit group, and uh, this has hit everyone pretty hard. When I spoke to the people at Stable View, they said that this is just so hard for her family and for her working family, and they're going to do everything that they can in order to honor and remember her legacy. They just don't have anything set in stone yet. Just a heartbreaking turn of events, really a freak thing that you don't hear about a lot in the horse community. Thanks for that, Sloan. And we're going to have more about her legacy coming up tonight at 11. We heard some of the wind noise there coming from that live shot in Aiken. Here's a look at it from our Grove Town Live Line. If you've seen the rain, you're cooling off into the 80s. We'll have a look at that weekend forecast for you in just a little bit. Three people in 13 hours hurt or killed by gun violence. The ripple effect goes much deeper. It's terrifying. My uh, fiance left the house right around the same time to go to work that the shooting happened. It could have hit his car. It could have been him. You know, it, it could it could have easily been him this morning and that's why I'm furious. They are in different counties at different times, but there is a common thread with these shootings. The accused shooters are all on the loose. Well, Rio spoke with neighbors who say just because they weren't the target, that does not make them feel any better. And there are a lot of neighborhoods involved here. The first yesterday evening at 6 at the Fox Den Apartments off Wrightsboro Road in Augusta. A few hours later at 1130 that night, Aiken County deputies were called to Aiken Regional where they were treating a victim or shooting victim. And that's when they learned about a shooting in Graniteville on Aiken Road. A man died there. Then at 715 this morning, Aiken County deputies were called back out for a woman shot in the head, this time to Audubon Circle. People told me this feels all too common. And it's all hours of the night. It's terrifying. That's the reality for soon-to-be mother of two, Emily Perry, living just around the corner from the shooting on Audubon Circle in Aiken County. It's, just, it's sick. It's it's not good. You don't You don't really sleep well, especially after something like that. She says the neighborhood is known for drug activity. The Aiken County Sheriff's Office tells us they've been to this house 64 times since 2013 for different calls. We can only call the cops so much. What are you supposed to do? In a separate shooting incident in Graniteville, a 26-year-old is also dead after being gunned down outside a home. And in Richmond County, a 39-year-old mother of three is fighting for her life after being shot five times. It definitely needs to be talked about. I wish that somebody would come out and speak and address to the public and to the citizens of Augusta. District 3 Commissioner Catherine McKnight says the city needs more deputies and security at these places. She plans on bringing this up for discussion at future meetings. Possibly the following uh, um, committee, it should definitely be put on there. I'll be glad to put it on there. And police say they they need to hear from you, the community, to solve these crimes time and time again. Please tell us video or the smallest piece of information can be vital to finding out who these people really are. Absolutely, Will. We hope people will come forward with that. Also this evening, this is what Regency Mall.